everyone, it's Gail. I'm here with a flip through of my August Mrs. Cog's design team project. Um, I made these three TNs and our traveler's notebooks and I used these kits from the Land of Oz and the Wonderful Wizard of Oz. So um, let's take a look. Uh, I will tell you ahead of time, this one is spoken for, but these two are going to go on my Etsy. I'm so excited. It's been a long time since I had journals on my Etsy. So um, as soon as this video downloads, I will get the listings up. So um, we'll look at the one that's the custom order first. Okay, so... This one is yours, Robin, so if you don't want to look, um, <laughs> turn away now. So on the front, I've got this great um, image from Mrs. Coggs. Love that. It's Dorothy with Glinda the Good Witch. Um, we've got a little charm on the top here. And then uh, I just made this a tuck, and so there is a little tag with this book belongs to in the front. So we'll flip through. Um, this is an image that uh, one of my subbies actually sent me some Oz images um, to kind of supplement the book. And so um, this is one that she sent me from Pinterest. I'm assuming anyway it was from Pinterest. Um, so we'll go through. This is Kool-Aid dyed paper. Got some um, book pages that came from, I believe those came from Gloria. Um, and then sack with one of the Mrs. Cog's printables on it. Some coffee dyed paper, little thing there. This school paper was wanting to curl, so I went ahead and put um, a little cutoff of the, of the decorative paper on the edge and a little collage down here. Love the, love the uh, doily too. Some music pages, I believe these also were from Gloria if I'm not mistaken. And on this side, there's a fabric flip with little fabric collage on the top as well. I'm showing things a little more close up because my friend Peg, who I love dearly <laughs> and is she always has my back she said you need to show some of these things closer from than from your table because it's hard to see little Edith Holden so I appreciated that input and so I will I will do that so this little pocket with the trim has this printable and it is back on um, coffee dyed file folder and we've got the children's dictionary page for wind. <laughs> I amused myself with picking out what would go with Oz. Here's a little tablet that is stuck in this pocket with this big old, big old head of the wizard. And then we're at the middle of the signature. The paper pack, by the way, is um, it's Blue Fern Studios Happy Accident. I think I, I mentioned that in some of my craft with me's. This is my new Tim Holtz pocket die cut, and I've just layered that up with, um, this is Mrs. Coggs. This, again, is from one of my subbies that was so helpful and sent me a few things that would, that would work. <clears throat> Wicked over here. <laughs> and this pocket with printable from Mrs. Coggs. I tell you, I really always have a hard time deciding which Mrs. Coggs kit to use because they are all so fabulous. And so if you haven't checked her out, she's Mrs. Coggs Crafts and she is on Etsy. And um, I'll put the link below. This is a belly band here. Oops. 
doily stuck a little bit. This is that children's writing paper. And then this is a flip that I just did with the patterned paper and an image from Mrs. Coggs on some fabric. The other side of the sack. The Kool-Aid dyed paper and I did a flip with my TN Tall Pocket. I have a video on how to make these if you're interested. So that one, <clears throat> as I say, this one is already spoken for, but let's take a look at the two that will be in the shop. So set that one here. So the first one um, is in my shop and it is called Dorothy, Wizard of Oz Dorothy. Cause there's that little image of Dorothy. Isn't that great? So, um, I have put that on the cover. I've got lace on the spine, this beautiful lace that comes from Pretty Pink Cottage, Diane Hubert. And then, um, I have this, this, uh, applique. I think that one was from Gloria as well, that I've put stickles and done some sparkly work on that. And then it's just tied with a ribbon. That was gifted to me by Denise at a Tattered Dream. So let's just pop this off. You could untie it too, but I don't know. <clears throat> it's easy just to slide it. So um, let's look through this one. They're basically the same. It's got the This Book Belongs To from, from my subby. Um, it's just that the images... Are different the pages are different you know the Edith Holden and stuff again here's the decorative paper with a fabric collage some little butterflies on that paper Kool-Aid dyed paper this is the music page with fabric flip and um, also fabric collage this, I didn't, I was talking about something else, but this is just a little piece um, that I got in Happy Mail as well, and I just uh, copied it, and its colors went so well with this. Again, Edith Holden, some fun little pictures there. Here is the side pocket with Mrs. Cog's image. And let's see, what did we do on this one? Scarecrow. Scarecrow on this one. And again, a pocket with a little tablet. The middle of the signature. These papers are so gorgeous. Here's the Tim Holtz die cut pocket with... Um, printable from Mrs. Coggs. I guess this side didn't have anything. Oh, well, scare. The Cowardly Lion was always scared. <laughs> it was kind of fun to find those. There's another one of the printables from the kit. Auntie M and Uncle Henry. Isn't that great? Okay, Edith Holden again. Love the music paper. I love it with the keyboards. This is the belly band in this book. And this is the decorative paper flip in this book. The other side of the sack. And then this is the tall pocket in this one. It flips this way. So there you have it. That is uh, Wizard of Oz Dorothy. And then let's take a look at um, this one. This one is in the shop as uh, Wizard of Oz uh, Glinda. Glinda. Glinda the Good Witch. 
So it's got some ruffle here, some lace on the spine, and then it's tied up with some vintage lace here. So let's take a look at Glinda. I'll show you the image without the tie. Isn't that so sweet? Oh, I love it. Okay. So again, this book belongs to on the Kool-Aid dyed paper. Um, the sack with an image from the kit. The children's paper with collage. Doily. This is the music paper in this one. And the extra journaling spot. Edith Holden. Here is the pocket with printable. This is Scarecrow's new house. <laughs> Looked like a corn cob. So cute. And this one has lion on the children's um, on the children's page here. And here's the cowardly lion with the tablet of paper. The middle of the signature. Again, those gorgeous papers. And here's the Tim Holtz uh, pocket for this one. And this one doesn't really have anything that applies on this other side of the page. This is... Um, one of the printables from the kit in this corner pocket and it says I'm the cook and I'm just not sure what that one's about exactly but it must have been something either in the original book or I, I don't know I don't know I will admit I've never read the Wizard of Oz I've only watched the movie four million times <laughs> here's the belly band in this one and the doily and the children's paper and then this is the flip in this one it flips up and has this image on the on the fabric there here is the other side of the bag here is the fabric flip with fabric collage and here is the Traveler's Notebook Tall Pocket on this one. And that is, that is uh, Wizard of Oz Glinda. So as I say, um, Glinda and Dorothy will be on my Etsy shop, Cinnamon Tea. I will link that below. And I hope you enjoyed looking at them. Thanks for crafting along with me on these. And we will just see you next time. Thanks everyone. Bye-bye.